Welcome to Look and See Outdoors. Where all your wildest dreams come true. Oh man, it's been a week. I have not made a video lately of the bathroom remodeling. And I guess my last video, it, it wound up being one of the longest videos that I've made to date. Right now, I'm cleaning off some, some vomit, if you will, throw up off the side of our one of our vehicles. My oldest son. I don't know if this was related to his injury, but past Tuesday night, he, he plays for um, his high school baseball team. And uh, during the game, he was sliding into second, and he hurt his right hand, his thumb hyperextended backwards. And he kept on through the night. It wound up being a late night. He got home. So yesterday I took him to um, one of those um, urgent care units. I was going to the emergency room for something that is really not an emergency. It's just a nightmare. So long story short, took him there. They x-rayed him. And he has a chip on the bone area there. I guess where the thumb joins in with the hand. But on our way over there, he, he was sick. He had this real bad headache. And it's funny, they tested him for COVID. They tested him for um, the flu and strep. Of course, all that came back negative. I believe his injury was causing him to be nauseated and quite possibly have the headache. I'm not a medical profession. Didn't go to medical school. But um, I wound up giving him a shot for his pain and that helped him get some rest last night. So today I'm out here. I was going to do some things. My wife has me. I want to build some shelves for her little collection of 80s plush toy, 80s, uh, 1980s plush toys, Care Bears, Cabbage Patch. She's got a mighty fine collection of all that stuff. So I thought I might would share some of my skills on <laughs> building shelves. It's not going to be a video on how to build a shelf. I just don't have the background. I've made videos in the past on how to do something and, you know, there's a million ways to skin a cat. Is there really a million ways to skin a cat? I've never skinned a cat, so I really don't know. I know there's more than one way to skin a cat. So, this is gross. It's clean now. But we were in traffic, and he, he, the closer we got over to the urgent care center unit, he just was getting nauseated, so I think the car ride was making sick. He don't normally get um, motion sickness. So like I said, I think all that was related to his injury in his hand, because it happened the night before, and due to circumstances, we weren't able to get him over there as early as we should have. And he just, bah, all down the side. So, but, you know, that is what it is. So let's see what we're going to do about these shelves. I bought some hoses. I was going to show you. Have you ever seen a hose pipe do this? And this is supposed to be like one of the industrial type hoses. See that red line going down it? It has a band of copper. And it's supposed to be kinkless. That's bull crap. They kink up. Maybe they should call them kink resist. I don't know. They said kinkless hoses. And I hadn't had this hose maybe two years now. And for some reason, it's doing that. 
I've never seen a hose do that. Maybe it's just it was a bad batch when this hose was made. Oh man. And I am so ready for it. I don't know, I'd love to be going somewhere other than here. Hiking trip. Uh, oh, man, somewhere. I swear there's not really many worries. All right, so. All right, I gotta get some stuff organized and cut some wood, do some measuring, so. Get that done. See what we can do here. I'm standing here looking at my yard as I walk down to cut this piece of wood. My lawnmower, the battery died on it, so. I'm kind of feeling overwhelmed. I know I'm not alone there. Just so many things that are on my plate. And oh y'all may see me break down on this video. I don't know. I feel like I'm just already broke down. Ugh. At least the weather is beautiful. Oh man, yeah, let's look at this. This always makes me feel good, man. It's almost like looking at the mountains when I look up and see that beautiful bluebird sky. That's beautiful. Nice. Okay, so losing my train of thought. Piece of wood. I've got a, a one by twelve plank. That's gonna be the shelf part. And I've got some uh one by twos and some one by sixes. And the one by six I'm planning on making the braces come up. And um make a little piece across the bottom for that with that one by two. Let's get something put together and see how it looks. Alrighty, well. Plan's changing again. Fixing to have to go to the sports hospital over in Columbus. Had an appointment tomorrow for my son to be seen. But they're going to take him in today and re-x-ray his hand. and So, fixing to have to leave. I'm going to try to make a couple of cuts. As I was sitting here, let me make sure I measure this right. You know, I watch some videos. There's people that I follow. And man, they really seem to have all their stuff together. I guess you can make a video and make it look like your world's perfect. And all that good stuff. I know my videos are not the greatest and all that good stuff. Uh, helps to plug in your equipment. <clears throat> I always try to keep these unplugged because my two youngest ones, especially my middle one, he'll come by and he'll grab this thing and start messing with it. these videos and podcasts and I guess they're kind of life coaches a life coach that's an interesting title shelf part she needs some room to set her dolls on that's about three three feet um, so there's one cut but I thought I'd make a video today on these shelves because that's kind of a neat thing to make these wooden shelves but it's gonna be cut short we're gonna have to run over to the Houston Sports Medical Center it's not a medical center. Whatever they call that. Oh, man. Always something. Got a bunch of dust on it. So. I need to grab my tube of six. And let me. I got to get my thoughts together. 
All right, so I found me a little, I'll make me a little guide here. I don't know if you see that little design I drew on this. So I'm gonna <clears throat> cut this with the, with the jigsaw and we'll see how this is gonna work out. This was a little scrap piece I had. So let me cut this. So I can set this camera up where I can show some skills on my jigsaw. No. I'll stand by. make this piece ah, it makes sense in a minute this is gonna be one of the braces the shelf will set up here so, it's gonna be my hey. all right so <laughs> I plug the jigsaw back in Try to get my sander I always like cleaning up these edges. I don't know what I did with my safety goggles. No bad. In my eye. Recommend it to use eye protection. Regret to inform you that your son is blind. See these edges, how sharp they are. Jagged. Clean them up. When you're working with wood, you have to pay attention because you have a kind of a smooth side and then a rough side. And when you cut your wood, like with this, I want this piece to be on the inside. The shelf will be laying up here. So I'm like, this is the wall. So I want this other, when I cut the other piece, I want the rough side to be on the inside. So I always have to make my head start frying. So let me, let me do this. When I was talking about this little brace part, my wife was calling me and made me lose my train of thought. So what I'll do, to make this match the piece of wood that I'm about to cut then I'm gonna draw this um, piece with uh, shoot, I can't even think of what that's called <laughs> I'm having a hard time thinking right now today would be a good day for day drinking beautiful day I was a day drinking I was to be day drinking I don't recommend day drinking but just thinking about it so I will find this, fill this out. You can feel it. And also you can look at the grain of the wood on the end. And you can tell how the wood's gonna bow by how that grain is arcing around. So, we're gonna need to cut it. I'll lay it down, facing. And then when I draw it out, 
This is my guide. Maybe that's the word I'm trying to think of. And then I'll cut it and it'll be nice. So let me do that. I need both hands for this. What's crazy is feeling this wood, both of them. This is the, the rough side. Oh man. I gotta make a video. Day Drinking 101. With Look and See Outdoors. So. Ta da! Simple. Do it like that. And then. Plug my saw back in, my little saw. Hey Marky Mark, can you feel the vibration? Two pieces. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. All right, let me clean this one up. All right, this. So I have precision tools. That's matched up. Nicely. I'm trying to get all this wood cut, but man, time, I got to go. So hopefully I can get back to this here in just a little while. We've got a little drive ahead of us. God, darn, excuse me. I'm going to pick up my dog and just stomp him. <laughs> uh, my son's getting ready, so I'm going to take a few minutes while I'm waiting to cut the other little one. Uh, one by two. One by four. Uh, get my pencil. Do a little measurement, cut it. I think once I get it put together, this little shelf idea will make sense to the audience. Probably nothing in this video is making sense right now. So. Walking down the hill in silence. What do they call that? Dead silence. But y'all heard birds and stuff in the background. On well, the radio, it's called dead silence. It's not called dead silence. It's dead air. That's what it's called, dead air. All right, well, we got back from the doctor. My son's got his hand in a cast. Wound up ligament pulled free on the inside there from the bone and it pulled a little fleck of bone with it so they've got everything set and for right now it's going to be in a cast for at least four weeks so that's good about to get restarted on working back on those shelves but i was sitting here on the back porch put my shoes on and I, look at this wisteria the other day i was talking about raising bees and there are honeybees along with the carpenter bumblebees. There's wasps in here. All these pollinators. I don't know if y'all can hear them or see them. But there are honeybees up in here too. There's a honeybee down there. That's a big carpenter bee. But there are all kind of pollinators here. It's wisteria. It's a real invasive plant, but I, I like it. And I keep this one controlled. I still, I got to prune on this, but I hadn't pruned on it. The blooms are so beautiful this, this spring. I don't know if y'all can hear those bees. Let's see if you can see the honey bees in here.
the honeybees are kind of like they don't want me to film them. Here's another plant that's loaded with pollinators. This holly bush. See the honeybees there. You can hear them real good in these plants. You can see them. These tiny little blooms. These little flowers. There's honeybee right there. This now the honeybees really like these. You got it working. These hollies every year get loaded up with honeybees. Get nectar and pollen. Another project. <laughs> Pruning these bad boys. I'm going to wait because there's a lot of stuff going on there with the bees. and Leave them alone. All right, let me get over here and get a couple of measurements. Do some more cutting. Get back on track here. So what I'm doing, I'm just doing some measurements here. I'm going to bring these pieces in. And I'll affix them. I like that word. Affix them. I think I may need to flip that over. This wood, well, however that grain is, will get a little bit of a bow. Yeah, and that's how I want it. It's flat there. So this is actually going to be the top. This will be the bottom. Come in a little bit there. Measuring that. I'm gonna sand these a little bit before I stain them. So I'm not going to record this whole process. I'm going to turn the camera off for now and just um, focus on getting everything drawn out where I can get it all lined up and screwed together. So we'll see how this turns out. I will say one of my favorite tools, these little true blue squares, these things, you can do a lot with them. But you can get your lines real good with just this little square and then, and then you can flip it over and get everything lined up pretty nice. That's a good little tool to have. Alrighty. It's all put together. Does that look like a shelf? I'm going to have to sand. Just do some sanding on it and I'm going to stain it. It turned out fairly nice. So I can get my mind on it. It's real nice to sit here and oh, let's see who this is pulling up. All right, I got two of them completed. Let's get started on the third one. All right, I've got two more to make. She wanted four total, so let's make sure I got the enough wood. I think I did. I, I'm sure I did. I was trying to figure out all that stuff in my head the other day when I picked up the wood. So. <clears throat> Get this stuff cut. And once I get the other two put together, I'll sand all that and then I'm gonna stain it. I think my son said he was gonna help me stain them. So that'll be good. And get these things finished for. It's funny what takes priority over priority. The bathroom was priority. 
but since I've started on it, there's other things have become priority. So, boy, life can be funny sometimes, that's for sure. From day to day. But you just kind of have to bear down. It's like, I, not that I was a professional bull rider, but I remember back when I was messing around with bull riding. And you get on some of those bulls. Some of them were easy to ride. Some of them real hard to stay on. And you just had to bear down. Even bearing down on some of those bulls. Man, they'd take you for a good ride. And you know, life like bull riding is tough. But at times it's fun. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this video. And, um, I'm going to be here chugging away on these shelves. Yeah, I'm going to get a workout in here in a little while. I need to do that. Let's work off some of the stress. So, guys, y'all take it easy. I appreciate you. Support of this channel. And hope you enjoy these videos. This video, hope you enjoy it. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment if you feel like it. As I always say, those things help generate these videos and get them into those realms where more people can view them. And um, y'all take care. See ya. It's not the end of the video. Got rain coming in once again tomorrow. And I need to get these shells finished. So I went on and cut the other two out. And um, I'm going to put them together. So tomorrow, if tomorrow comes, I'm going to be able to sand them. I'll be down under the porch where it's dry. And then... I will put the stain on. So, I'm going to have to put these tools up because this is my work area. I don't really have a place to get. Everything's just got so much crap. I've got to do some deep purging and get that stuff done. So, I'm going to work on getting these shelves pieced together, get that done. Then I'll stop there. All right, everyone, I managed to get four, all the shelves done. Life is happy. That's a good deal. We're fixing to get our workout on Aunt Silas. So this is the end of the video for real. And what am I hearing? I thought my phone was making noise. Oh, that's your Kindle making that noise. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. See ya.